hello guys and welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you haven't it is so very nice of you to pass by i hope that you hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed make sure that your notifications are on so you never miss a video so whenever i'm showing you my food on snapchat you guys are always asking for recipes so i thought that i would organize my recipes and put them in this binder and if you do want those recipes make sure you let me know and i can definitely email them to you so if you want to see how i diy this recipe book just keep on watching okay so the very first thing i'm going to do is organize my actual recipes i have them all over the place facebook my phone the google chrome extensions just everywhere but most of them are definitely on pinterest so that's where i'm going to show you now i'm going to open this bacon mushroom risotto recipe that i actually haven't tried yet it is from buzzfeed as you can see and then i'm just going to copy the ingredients and also the instructions of the recipe i'm going to take that into microsoft word and i'm going to put at the title of the recipe and then paste what i just copied before right under the title Then I'm going to take the title of the recipe and I'm going to change the font size to 48 because I want it to be pretty big and visible. And then I'm going to change the font to coffee break. And yeah, this is just the one that I like. You can use whatever you want or if you just want the copies, then let me know. And then I'm going to take the rest of the font and I'm going to change that to noteworthy because I think that it's pretty delicate and it kind of matches the theme with the other one. And it's pretty and I like it. So I'm going to make sure that my paragraphs are in single line and I like double so I don't have too much spaces in between and then that would just take so much space in a page and you would end up with like three pages per recipe and you definitely don't want that then I'm going to change the word ingredients and also the word instructions to a bigger font or not bigger but um, I'm going to make it bold and then I'm going to make it a pretty pink color it's like a peachy pink I actually changed it because I wanted it to look like that on the once I printed it but I ended up having to print this at my husband's office and there's no color ink so later you'll see that everything's just black which is a little boring but I mean it worked right so then I'm going to select the two paragraphs and I'm going to make sure to number them that's going to reduce the spaces in between each line and it's just going to make everything easier to follow once you have numbers in my opinion i'm also removing some hashtags that were like at the beginning of each line i'm not sure why buzzfeed did that it's super weird it's not even like at the beginning of a keyword or anything it's just randomly at the beginning of each line don't know what happened there but yeah it was kind of weird so i removed it and once you're done fixing each recipe then you can just go ahead and print this took a while but i did all the work for you if you want these recipes now here are the things that you're going to need to create this recipe binder. You're going to need a binder, obviously I found this one at Target. You're also going to need some sheet protectors, your recipe copies, and this is optional but you can use a pretty marker if you're going to do anything by hand like I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the random papers and cardboard pieces that the binder brought as you can see here and then I'm going to insert the sheet protectors and this was so hard because the sheet protectors are so slippery and I actually think if you put the recipes inside the protectors first that may be easier to handle but I did it backwards and just learned from my mistakes. Then I'm going to go ahead and insert all the recipes and I'm going to do the dividers. So as you can see here, I'm just doing that by hand with a gold metallic marker that I also got at Target. I wanted to do this by hand so that my binder had a more personal touch, but you can obviously just write at this big on Microsoft Word and then go ahead and print it out. You can do it by hand, get creative, just, you know, do whatever you want. I just wanted to add something cute and personal and just handmade. Then go ahead and insert your dividers into the sheet protectors as well and then for the little tabs that are on the side so that you find your dividers you can buy those but I had this cardstock paper that I had left over from like another project and so since they are like a diamond shape I thought it would be cool if I cut out the diamond shape and then cut that in half so that I have a little triangle tab dividers. 
I then took a little piece of tape, placed it on top of the triangle, and then taped that right on top of the divider, which is protected by the plastic sheet protector. So you can remove this whenever you want and you'll have no trouble. Once you do that, you're completely done. So this is how my DIY recipe book turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely new year. And remember, if you want copies of these recipes, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Bye.